Watch WPT Alpha 8 Monday nights on Fox Sports 1. And Mercier is going to start the evening off with pocket kings here. The blinds are at 1 in 2,000. The ante is at 300. And Mercier is going to min raise. Yep, Jason tends to raise preflop slightly smaller than some of the other players, either min or just over min raise. And what's the logic behind that? You're getting a good price to win the blinds and antis. You're risking less. But you're also incentivizing them to call more often. That's true, and that's part of the reason that some players have started to uh, make slightly larger raise sizes. I think the key here, though, is that Jason has started this hand relatively short stack. So the effective stack size is also dictating the, the raise size. He's also got the other short stack and Dan Coleman along for the ride, who's in real bad shape with King Jack offsuit. And Byron Coverman defended from the big blind with 8-4. Flop, deuce, tray, 5. Coverman with the open-ended straight draw. Checks it over to Mercier. Who also checks it? That's pretty surprising, Jason's check. Uh, maybe he's hoping that Dan Coleman will take a shot and then he can check raise all in. No dice, though. Dan checks as well. And that's a disastrous turn card for Mercier. The six of diamonds giving Coverman the best hand with a six high straight. And Mercier is drawing dead. Byron comes right out with a bet of 6,700. And if you're Jason, I don't think you can fold to this bet. After checking the flop, you've really underrepresented the strength of your hand. And Byron can have a number of draws here. The six puts a second diamond on the board. And there are a number of straight draws, seven, eight, seven, nine, hands like that that Byron could be semi-bluffing. Mercier makes the call. Coleman out of the way. And to the river we go. And that river, the seven of clubs. Coverman is upgraded to an eight high straight. Now, from a relative point of view, this doesn't change very much. But at the same time, since many of Byron's semi-bluffs have sevens in them, now he would have made a pair of sevens. I don't think he'd be likely to try to value bet those hands. He'd be more likely to check and hope that his seven was good. So when he does make a bet, and he does make a pretty hefty bet of over 20,000, I think Jason can take those hands out of his range. The real question here is how often is Byron bluffing? Because if Byron isn't bluffing, Jason's beat here. Meaty 20,500 chip bet from Byron. I think normally this would be a relatively straightforward fold. I think part of the reason this is tough for Jason is because he checked the flop. And so he doesn't normally play this hand like this, so he doesn't find himself in this spot very often. And checking the flop, I think, in your opinion, was potentially a mistake, something that was unorthodox, especially if for no other reason, because now you're in a tougher spot than you needed to be because you didn't gather the sort of information that you could have had you bet the flop. Yeah, I mean, I'm a little hesitant to criticize a player as good as Jason, but I, I think he probably regrets not having bet the flop. You know, maybe he was, tr like I said earlier, he was trying to get Dan Coleman to take a shot at it and then just check raise all in, but I think it would have been much easier and more natural hand if he had just bet the flop, Byron had called, and then it had played out this way. I think ultimately, though, this is a fold, especially because of that River 7. We all know what it's like to have an overpair, have a dangerous board, and face a big bet, and just be in that kind of not know what to do place. And even a player as talented and as good as Jason can find himself kind of unsure how to respond. That's another big part of the hand. I mean, if Jason calls and is wrong here, he's going to be left with not very many chips. A decimating blow to his stack. And you just feel the discomfort and the tension in that seat. Mercier makes the call, costing himself an extra 20500 on the river. And that's got to hurt. Watch WPT Alpha 8 Monday nights on Fox Sports 1.